Okay. Hello. Are my bitches live? Yeah. Let's chest. Are my bitches? Yes, my bitches be live. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see if I can. Hold on. I have to pull up the comments on my phone. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. I know it's kind of cringe when people celebrate their own birthday, but. You know, why not? It's fun. Happy birth, miss. I know. Damn, that's a sexy page. Thank you. It's for issue number three of my comic book. I'm actually recording these pages so I can, like, make content out of it later. So I'm gonna try to actually, like, ink when I'm live streaming for once. Instead of just talking about nothing, maybe? Mm-hmm. Thanks for the birthday wishes, bitches! My birthday is kind of like... Mm, people don't usually remember it because Christmas. So, you know. But according to the prophecy of 2012, I was the one who was supposed to be the chosen one who lives. So, hmm. Hmm. How do you feel about that? Hmm. <laughs> you like my video that I made? I gave up on the editing halfway through. I think everyone noticed that, but I just didn't care. I was like, whatever. You you got the point. Sometimes I don't care about that, okay? But I intend on talking about the hashtag real issues. <laughs> with comics. <laughs> not Not with, like, social, political stuff. No, no, no. What's affecting my very niche genre? But yeah, um, I didn't realize so many people were mad at me for deleting videos. Y'all get so mad at me. You guys don't call me a loser in the comments, but like, I think I can, it's, I can read between the lines. They're like, I want to keep supporting you, but you keep doing crazy shit and it's annoying. And I'm like, oh, damn it. Well, it was a good idea to me when, in my head when I did it. All right. Don't fucking judge me. All right. Not all the- th I- I'm- I'm not saying all my decisions are smart. <laughs> but also I don't care. I think people overvalue social media way too much. Social media means nothing. But I need it to make- mean something so that people will be interested in my work. So I have to like care about it recently, which is like weird. How old are you now? <sighs> old. A basically one foot in the grave, guys. I don't even want to say. 28. <laughs> I'm old. I cackled that everything is the same, but now it's purple. <laughs> I have video editing abilities, I just never use them. I could have put more, like, p pussy power into the ones that I did, but I was like, uh, lazy. Man, 28, not old. Yeah, say that to a 13-year-old. See what they say. You're gonna be like, "You, what are you, doing taxes? 
when they spit spit on me. Not that I care about what 13 year olds think, but I don't know. I do a little bit, maybe. I'm 20 and I feel old. Mm. I feel like my frontal lobe has finally formed, you know? I feel like I'm able to process things that I have not been able to in a while. But also, uh, I take excessive amounts of psychiatric medication, so that could also be it. <laughs> Bro, I'm 50. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying by I'm saying I'm old? That means you're geriatric. That means get it, get it, get, go to the store and get your uh, CPAP machine, grandpa. <laughs> if I'm old, you're basically a walking corpse. <laughs> no. Dude, some, have you ever seen like those like 80 year olds that can do like backflips and then you get insecure? I'm like, man, I'm fat. I need to stop being fat for real. I had that moment today because, um, I got ice cream because it was my birthday. And I was like, <laughs> and then I got Taco Bell. And then I got lasagna for dinner and I'm like, the obesity. The obesity, the, the avarice, the greed. The <laughs> I feel so greedy today. <laughs> okay, on it. <laughs> I'm literally just hatched. We got embryos in the chat. I saw this, like, obvious, like, pro-life bullshit on my Instagram where they were like, this is a baby's hand at six weeks. And it's like, all lives matter. And then I look and it's like a fully formed human hand, but they shrunk it down really small. And I'm like, guys, we got to do better than this. Come on now. This propaganda is not working. <laughs> Some of us actually went to school. Some of us know um, what stages of human development look like. <laughs> Some people don't, though. They don't know how that works. It's funny. Scared to... I saw this video where it said that, like, you can do front flips really easily like it was on tiktok and it was showing you how to do it but my goofy ass has tried to do dumb shit and really fucked up my body before so i'm kind of like scared to try to do the front flip video thing because what if i end up like breaking my whole neck doing that then what all because i wanted to do a front flip because i saw it on tiktok But it looked really easy, though. I don't know. I need to, like, work on my... I think I have sciatica. Like, basically, from, like, on my right side, my butt cheeks, to my leg... It's like shooting pain down my ass to my leg. And basically when that happens, it's usually like your sciatic nerve getting fucked up somehow. And I don't know what caused this other than just being old and fat. And I'm like, is just being old and fat give you sciatic pain? And I look it up and they're like, yeah, it could help. I don't know. We don't know why it happens. I'm like, fucking God, this sucks. But it makes like sitting down suck real bad. 
So maybe I should get a standing desk or something. But I, like, never use those. I wonder how many people died because of something they saw on TikTok. Probably a lot. Some Dijon mustard fix it right up. See, this sounds like some bruja nonsense where it's like, you have shoulder pain? <laughs> Here's some Dijon. <laughs> like, that doesn't, that doesn't seem like it would fix anything, but also I'm willing to try dumb shit if it works. Because it didn't seem like there was any kind of solution to it other than just like, work on your core strength. So I've been trying to do core workout stuff to work on my core strength so that maybe my sciatic pain doesn't hurt. No, nah, it's real. It's what we do in Kentucky. So we got some Kentucky fried uh, pain meds of mustard. <laughs> I'll try it, whatever. I'll look that up. You think I won't? I will. I did a lot of DIY junk when I was a kid. Um, I remember my sister was really into the DIY skincare because we couldn't afford skincare growing up. So my sister did all of these like salt and sugar scrubs, which like eviscerate your skin off basically. <laughs> and I still think about them to this day, like how many times she'd be like, it hurts and I don't think it did anything, but... I did the recipe correctly, and I'm like, oh, mmm, mmm. <laughs> if you believe it'll work, then it will. Oh, is that how it works? <laughs> it's like a Peter Pan, I do believe in fairies kind of logic. I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. <laughs> if you just say it loud enough and with enough conviction, it it works. Some people like really do live by that. Like the speak it into the universe stuff. And, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just a, a little skeptical with that. But, I'm also kind of like, I've seen it work though. I've seen people literally be like, I need this, and then it just happens. But how much of that is just like, effective communication? Where it's like, you, you had a problem that could have been fixed if you just talked to this right person. And then you finally did. Because a lot of people just struggle with stuff because they never communicate, you know? So, like, it's not really speaking it into the universe. It's speaking it into, like, the hands of someone who can help. I don't know. Hope you get a fat slice of cake. I have cake downstairs, but um, I had lasagna and I feel like I will. Oh my God. I can tell you a terrible thing that I did. Guys, this is so embarrassing and you're going to make fun of me so fucking bad for this, but it's also very, very fucking funny. So um, prepare yourselves. So last night I couldn't sleep. It was three in the morning and I was bored. And I just watched the Metalocalypse movie because I didn't realize it had already come out. So I was like fully awake and bored. And I was like, mm, why don't I take a shower and like get rid of all of the hair on my body? Because that usually makes me very happy because I hate having hair on my body because it, it yucks me out. So I was like, ass hair time. Haha. -ha. 
So I use Nair on my ass to get rid of the hair there because it's hard to get off, okay? I'm going to be real. If you ever shaved your ass, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Here's the thing. I was distracted because I was looking at Metalocalypse clips to send to my sister and I didn't, like time it correctly because you're really supposed to time it because you can get a chemical burn <sighs> motherfucker did you know that I like burned the skin off my ass like like near my asshole kind of skin so like when I wiped off the hair it wiped off like skin and it was just like a bloody paper towel with hair on it and I was like uh oh <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> um. Mm. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so, um, be very careful when you're using Nair, guys. Just so careful. The most careful you can be. Because my bum bum has not recovered. I still wipe, still blood. Uh-oh. Um, I got a fucking chemical burn on my ass. On my birthday. <laughs> but it was funny and it doesn't hurt that bad it's like like don't i i did a thorough examination of the of it affected area so it's fine it's kind of like i got road rash on my ass that's what it looks like if i could give you a descriptor um so yeah um pay attention when you're doing anything with chemicals guys don't be a dipshit <laughs> Bro burnt his ass. <laughs> I didn't think about how scary Nair was till that moment because every single time I've used it before then, it hasn't been scary and it hasn't fucked me up until this one moment where I use it on my intimate parts. Epic. It's really your birthday? Yeah. How long did you leave it on? I don't know because I didn't set a timer. <laughs> but usually I leave it on for like four minutes. I think I left it on probably a good eight minutes. So it, it cooked the skin right off. Because I don't know if you guys watched that one, like, butthole video of that guy who, like, showed off how Nair worked to get off ass hair. It's up on YouTube. Look it up. Um, it's, like, how to use Nair. And it's, like, an Asian guy. Just look, just watch the video if you, uh, want to be traumatized. But, um, it's not that bad. He just shows his ass. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I saw that video and I was like, that's effective. Let me try. <sighs> I usually only use it for like weird areas that are hard to shave. Clickbait title I burned my ass. <laughs> Apparently, like. This is, like, a common thing with Nair. Because, like, Nair is also, like, heat sensitive. And your ass is, like, obviously, like, a conductor of heat between the cheeks, bro. So a lot of people end up, like, just totally ruining their hole. Like, just destroying it with Nair. If they're not careful. So the more you know, careful, guys. Don't do it haphazardly. Burned day. <laughs> Happy burn day. <laughs> How do you spell it? Nair. It's a funny video. <laughs> he just shows his whole hole. 
<laughs> on the video. I don't know how YouTube allows that on there, but I think it's funny. Finally, the content we need. Honestly, though, I should have rewatched this video because I could have avoided burning my ass if I fucking actually paid attention, but no. You know what I also have been doing lately? So, I'm working on every month I'm going to be putting out an issue of my comic, and it's going to be in printed form, right? Pretty easy stuff. Um, I, I'm going to have, like, a couple months in advance so that, like, I have, like, a log of it. So, January, I'm having issue one and issue two, and I'm making a website. Cool, cool, cool. Um, want to know something really fucking dumb? So, for comic books, like, for independent, like, issues, people put, like, them in bags. It's called bagging and boarding a comic. So, it's like, like, a plastic bag and, um, like, a piece of, like, thin cardboard. I had to spend a long time researching plastic bags because a lot of these bags are not actually good and it's like this is the dumb shit where i'm like man having like any kind of business is stupid like for real the fact that they can have like bags that don't even fit the fucking intended product like why even sell that that's stupid so i'm getting these like bougie ones that are like mylar because mylar is like if you if you collect comics like mylar is like the fancy kind of plastic that you want to put it in <sighs> but i'm like it's it's worth it i don't know but it also made me realize a lot of comic book people annoy me with like their stupid little like this comic has a slight crease that means it's devalued by three thousand dollars i'm like just read the fucking book and put it on your shelf, you loser. Like, I don't know. I really hate, like, collector shit. But I also realize it's a valuable and important part of comic books. It's just very annoying to me, like, as an artist. Because I'm like... Ugh, having to care about stuff that I don't care about is annoying. Like, it won't even be, like, a bend. It'll be, like, like three-fourths of, like, a... Like, a thumbprint was on it, and they're like, uh-uh. It's devalued now. I'm like, fucking Christ. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> so, it just makes me have a lot of anxiety about, like, making sure stuff is of quality. But what I might do is also, like, have an option on my website. Because I have a laser engraver, right? Where I can have like for an extra charge because it's already going to be bagged and boarded but if you want it super uber ep epic like not fucked up at all no no way possible that 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 the mail service can fuck it um i was like what if i made my own backing boards that were laser engraved it's like that'd be kind of cool right and it's wood like that's some fancy shit so i'm thinking about it i'm not sure if that anybody would want that i might like decide if that's a good idea or not. Might be dumb. Might not be dumb. Who knows? Happy birthday, boy! Thanks, Meech. Listen, Meech. If I see you in the chat, if you want to know one thing, I have set up a Discord, so I know how to stream with other people now. So if you want to stream with me, <laughs> I can send you the link. <laughs> if you're not busy, I don't know. The pain of having a, a birthday near a holiday is that, uh, you know, nobody is uh, around. My god, computer, you need to stop. You need to stop. 
Y'all online people are in an unspoken packaging war. <laughs> no. I've always had, like, a toxic amount of care with, like, packaging, but I swear the nerds, the nerds out there really do be enjoying it. But yeah, in January, I should have issue one and issue two on my website, but I am not announcing the website yet because I'm still working on it. Um, I was setting it up because, like, I wanted to set it up so that it could go for all languages, like, be translating it. And Shopify makes that kind of confusing to set that up. But yeah, I still need to order the the issues though so it says it takes two weeks to print it but I don't think it will because I'm not ordering like a million copies I'm only ordering like I don't know 45 or something like that I don't imagine I'm gonna have gangbusters on my comic or anything but if I do I'll just reorder but you know be reasonable about it it's kind of like a way for me to like work on my comic and then like have motivation to like get stuff out so I don't know I'll, I'm gonna make a video talking about it I'm sorry, I was checking my messages. Um, what was I doing? I don't know. Inking. <laughs> I remember, um, you see how this is like an oval here? When you're an art nerd, they call these ellipses. And I remember getting roasted to filth for every single professor saying, you're terrible at ellipses. Like, you're just so bad at them. Um, because a lot of... A lot of people end up making stuff not actu actu actually... Uh, oh my god, fuck it, shut the fuck up. Um, not actually circular. So, uh... The way I fixed that was that um, I just use the ellipse tool now and nobody fucking says shit anymore. It's just kind of annoying because I hate using it because it's like not a very good tool. I don't like it in Photoshop and I also don't like it in Clip Studio. I think the ellipse tool sucks in both programs. Okay. All right. You do an HTML or something? No. It's more like a It's like it's Shopify, so it's not like uh I have to do any like coding or anything myself. But you have to like set up apps on the website for it to like work to do all like the stuff you wanted to do. So like say you want um, digital downloads, you have to like set up a separate little thing on your store to do that. Or if you want things to be translated to like someone else's currency, like when they're using it, you have to like have a separate app for that too. And then you have to like test it and do all this bullshit, it's annoying. I don't know, website stuff is always like kind of a 
frustrating. But the cool thing is, is uh, I was able to get a custom domain. So, uh, it's, um, I don't want to tell you the domain, but I'm glad that I got it because I was worried about not being able to get it. <laughs> Look at the ellipses. Oh my God. Oh my God, Rebecca. That bitch can't do any ellipses. Looks like S. I sound like chills. <laughs> Number 15. <laughs> Holly can't do ellipses. <laughs> but yeah. And then I start school in January, so I'm kind of like busy. And I'm also running my other shop. Like, I'm going to start posting stuff about that, too. So I've got a lot of irons in the fire for next year. But I'm kind of excited because I haven't really talked to people in real life in a long time. Like, normal people, not like art people. And I kind of am wondering, like, what's that going to be like? Because I don't know. I, like, never have really made friends in real life. Ever. Um. Like, most of my friendships have always been online. Like, in my adult life, I've never had an IRL friend. Ever. So, I kind of want that. That sounds fun. But I also don't, in some ways. Because they might distract me from my work. <laughs> So who knows? We'll see. But how you doing? How you doing, Biffles? Do people still say Biffle? Probably not. That sounds very 2000s-y. But yeah, I'm frightened to go eat food because I'm wondering what the bum bum situation will be like. Like coffee. I want some coffee because I have a Nespresso machine. So I'm kind of like, ooh, should I have some coffee? <laughs> Destroy my bowels from within? <laughs> Oh, I didn't really talk about the Metalocalypse movie. Did you guys know that fucking movie already came out? I didn't know that. I'm an idiot. I was waiting for it for like months and then I realized it was already out on YouTube. And I was like, oh. Um. Because I'm stupid and don't pay attention. But also they did not really hype that up as much as they should have. Um. It was alright. It, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. But I do like the the constant gay jokes that they always do. Always gonna laugh at that 10 out of 10. But I thought the plot was gonna be more than what it was. Don't do coffee. What, don't do coffee on my burnt ass cheeks? What do you mean? Think that's a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe just a little candles be looking spooky you know
You know what show you guys need to watch? It just came out on Netflix. It's Carol and the End of the World or whatever. That shit is gonna make you cry, bro. But like in a nice way, I promise. That show is so unbelievably sad. But like in like a weird, hard to describe way. And I don't want to give away like the plot. But, you know, the world is ending. And it's like... Like, basically, like, a planet is, like, slowly moving closer to the Earth. So they have, like, several months of life left. And the whole world is just like, well, we're dying, so... So it's just sort of, like, what happens. Like, it's just sort of, like, what happens, yeah. And it's just, like... I like it. It's very good. I don't want to give anything away because it's new, but I cried several times. It's good. Sometimes it's hard for me to like watch new stuff, so I have to just like watch it without any context, so, you know. You want to watch it? It's good, I promise. Um, there's at least like one character I think for most people to like. Carol is like painfully autistic, and I mean that in like the actual factual term. Like, the world is ending, and she's like not happy because she's like out of a routine and stuff, and then she's basically like works at an office <laughs> when the world is ending and is happy. It's a, like, a very, like, strange perspective on, like, what makes somebody fulfilled. Like, I bet you could write essays about that, like, their choices on, like, uh, uh, the subject matter, I guess, like, uh, I don't know. It was interesting. Sorry. I'm like half, half paying attention to what I'm saying. So sorry if that was stupid, but, uh. You got a touch of the tism. <laughs> I, it's very relatable if you have autism. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of moments on there where I'm like, Carol, bro, come, Carol, please, bro, like, <laughs> I don't want to like give it away, but there's just like a lot of moments where it's just. It's relatable, but also, like, kind of annoying. I don't know how to explain it. You'll know what I'm talking about if you watch it. Some of Carol's behavior is, like, whiny. But, like, I understand why she's whiny. I like Donna. She was my favorite character.
I don't know. I'm, you know what I did the other day before I ruined my ass? Um, I went to the Dollar Tree because I was convinced by Dollar Tree moms that you could have budget skincare. So I was like, okay, Dollar Tree is selling skincare. Where do I sign up? Let's see. Um, so I go. And they they seemingly have a lot of dupes that are similar to like the ordinary in there. Like um, vitamin C and like niacinamide kind of stuff. So I was like, oh, okay. So I bought some. <sighs> Don't get the vitamin C, bro. My skin broke out instantly in hives. But the other ones were really good. So like... Maybe it's just my skin is sensitive to whatever was in that one. But for a dollar twenty-five, like I'm willing to roll the the dice. But I looked at the ingredients on the back, and I'm like, ninety percent of this is just glycerin. So <laughs> epic. <laughs> Because every time I think about glycerin, I think about my dad. Because when you're tanning snakes, here's a fun little fun fact. When you're tanning snakes to like make like a snake belt or snake shoes or something, you tan it with glycerin. So anytime I see glycerin on like ingredients, I'm always like, I am now snake skin. Here I am becoming rejuvenated once more. Like... <laughs> Your dad was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> if you have a pop shelf near you, I like their cheap skincare. Bro, I do. Do you have like a, any recs? Any recommendations for specific product? Because I saw a pop shelf near me and I was like, what the fuck is pop shelf? I thought it was like Funko Pops in there. And I was like, I don't want to go in there. Ew, Funko Pops. Um, but if it's skincare, bro. I love skincare. It's just I can't afford it because I'm a cheap bitch. <laughs> Mm, tanning hide is hard. A lot of people think it's easy. It's not. My brother, he is... Works in taxidermy. And because he doesn't want me to hate him, he tries to give love by giving me dead animal skins. So the freezer is full of, like, dead animals. Like, this is the hide of, like, a sheep. This is the hide of, like, like the pelt of a deer. This is the pelt of an African monkey. And I'm like, okay. Because he knows that I know how to like, like tan leather and things like that. And I'm like, I don't really need leather of a deer or like all this shit. But I'm also kind of like, well, it is here. You could maybe make like a couch out of it. I don't fucking know. But it's gotten to a point where like, uh, I really need to like actually use those so I don't know what to do I need to figure out like what furniture I can make out of that shit because it's like taking up so much space in the freezer the dead sea minerals creams and their blueberry cleanser okay let me write that down you know my ass is gonna go there tomorrow and get it I love it. Okay. Dead Sea Mineral Cream Blueberry Cleanser 
cleanser. Okay. It's always like a 50-50 shot on skincare though, because like uh, everybody has different skincare needs. But sometimes there's just one product that like fucks like for everybody and I'm like, okay, I'll try it. If you're sensitive, only take a little. I use their blueberry cleanser. Uh, and Korea retinols. Yeah. Ooh. Retinol. I like those little retinol capsules. Those are fucking awesome. I usually use like the snail mucin. I think that's how you say it. It's like Korean. It's like snail goo basically that you put on your face. And this snail goo. I swear to God. This goo makes your skin soft. And younger. I don't know how it's possible, but it's very expensive goo. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn. But Korean skincare is like next level, I swear. You just finished setting up your PC? Hell yeah, bro. It can be a pain in the ass to like set all that shit up. Like, all the wires. My desk still has wires everywhere, and it drives me nuts. I want, like, a hutch, you know? But, like, that's, like, an old style of desk, and they don't really make hutches anymore, which is annoying, because I like them. I need, like, a cubicle to, like, organize my shit. <laughs> The vitamin C cleanser killed my ass. Dude, vitamin C is just hard on my skin as well. I have dry skin. I don't really have oily skin, so... My skin is like the Sahara, so if like you put really like strong shit on it, it like just breaks out into hives. I don't know. I'd, I'd much rather get into skincare than makeup. Because I'm like, I mean, I get why people like makeup. You know, it makes them feel like Yas Queen Slay. But first of all, I don't care about makeup. And then also, I hate having like a bunch of shit on my face. But, you know, skincare is just caring about your skin. So, you know, I'd rather just my face not need foundation. But my skin, like, I have, like, rosacea, so I, like, have permanent pink on my face. So I'm trying to, like, reduce it by having more moisture in my skin. Um, so that I don't look fucking pink all the time. Because I hate looking fucking pink. I hate it. Because <laughs> so many people look so good with their clear skin. And I just am so jealous because I just have always looked like a pink monster. Makeup makes me feel like a clown. Yeah. My cat is meowing downstairs. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. Happy birthday! Wishing you the best. Well, thank you. I'm gonna be trying my best to, like, manage... A lot of shit next year so we'll see how that works maybe it'll like be a dumpster fire who knows either way I'm feeling hopeful here's what's gonna happen next year I'm gonna get sexy my skin's gonna be great I'm gonna be glowing I will stop having sciatic pain in my ass I will fucking you know what's one thing I have to go to the doctor which I don't want to because uh, I have a monorrhea, which means I have to go to the fucking gyne gynecologist. Um, 
So I'm waiting for my ass to be healed before I do that. Because I don't want them to look at my burned asshole. Um, so that's cool. Epic. <laughs> Epic. Just ignore my ass. Don't worry about it. That's not related to anything. I promise I nared my ass. It's... Whoops. Just look away. <laughs> oh my god. I like how these plants are looking thus far. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Boop. Boop. The thing that sucks is this is, is a double page spread, so it looks really detailed, but then it's like, technically this is just for like, like two pages, not one. So you really gotta like, pay attention to the detail on these pages. I plan on working on a video. Okay, hold on. Shit. I'm sorry, my mom texted me. She's like, why is the cat crying? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> um, I plan on working on a video. Uh, cause I watch a lot of like comic people and I can tell like a, a lot of them are like, don't understand a lot of gay shit. So when they talk about like gay shit in comics, it makes me laugh. So I kind of want to make a video explaining some stuff, but also like critiquing some of these comics. Not in like a harsh way, but more like in a, like just sort of a empirical data kind of way. Um, but I'm like, that might require me to like look up a lot of shit. So I don't know. But, uh, I think it'll be interesting. I don't know. There's like a weird thing with comics where like, it's very like, political, which I think is weird. So I'm like, dude, we're talking about comic books, bruv. Why is it like, why are you like this? Um, but you know, it'll be like an interesting video, I think, but I might use this footage for that because in the earlier footage, it's like more like comic booky looking, but I don't know. I guess it's like B-roll footage really doesn't matter for shit like this, but I'm trying to aim my videos to talk about stuff that is not just art bullshit. Cause like, you know, I'm trying to get people who want to read a comic, not people who are artists. Cause like, why would I sell to people who are artists? when I could sell to a consumer. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm focusing on in terms of YouTube. Maybe it'll be stupid. Maybe it won't. Who knows?
I never really do like a lot of like line variation. Or at least I think I don't. And then like, I don't know, I see some people where like they're very dramatic with their line variation. I'm like, mm. I don't know. To me, like you shouldn't like for background shit, it makes it hard to do a lot of that. What are you doing? What? What, you little stink? You little stinker? You saffron the stinker? What? You're such an attention slut. Yeah? For real. You're always craving the pets. <laughs> this cat, like, I don't even, like, pet him. I just, like, hold my arm out and he, like, uses my hand to pet. I'm like, oh my god. You're so rude. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Beep, 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 beep. Boop. Oh, my Atlanta. We working on the page, bitch. I don't want to ink anymore. I'm already over it. <laughs> Can we see the cat? No, I don't have it set up and I don't want to like set up my webcam. No, stop. Quit being a cunt. Come here. Quit. Quit it. Aw. I love you. Stop though. Quit. He knocked over my trash can. <laughs> Go to bed. Quit being a hassle. I don't know. My cat is like very orange cat behavior. Yeah, let's work on the Reese part. Stop it. Quit being rude. Go get a hobby. Get a hobby that isn't bothering me. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. I have this brush in Clip Studio Paint that like makes like anime hair. And it's like, it's cool because I want to overuse it, but like, to me, it's like a specialty brush where you're not supposed to use it all the time. But, um, it makes me want to use it constantly and I have to like stop myself. Like in this instance, it would not make sense to use an anime hairbrush, but I want to. Stop it. Where are you? I hear you. Where are you? I hear you. Come here. Where'd you go? Come here. <laughs> the other day he was caught in all of my like computer cords, so I get like nervous when he's around my computer. <laughs> Come here. Little butt. What? Hmm? Hmm? What? 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 I like petting him because he takes a pet like he takes a pet like no problem like I can just pet him in any kind of way and he doesn't care but some cats get like real pissy if you're like you petted me slightly too hard I'm gonna bite you now like he's not like that he'll just like can pet him like however he doesn't give a shit which is fun, but also kind of like, he begs for it constantly with the petting. Rude. Hmm? 
No. Mr. Boy. Yeah, you lay down. Yeah. What's the brush? It's basically like... It just does like chunks of hair. Um, like... I don't know how to explain it other than that. Like, it'll, it'll just like make a chunk of hair. Like when you do this, it'll make a... Like a hair chunk. And it like is very whimsical and everything, but uh, it's not good for everything. I could see myself overusing the shit out of that, so. It's kind of like when I first got a chain brush and I was like, oh, I'm going to put chains on everything. Um, and then I quickly was like, okay, let's not get outrageous here. Let's <laughs> rein it in. But anytime I download some stupid shit, I always want to overuse it real bad. Because it's fun. That's why it's like... I feel bad for people where like those kind of brushes don't work for their art style because uh... It is so fun to use custom bullshit brushes. Dude, it is like the most fun. Uh, I switch between Photoshop and Clip Studio. Right now I'm in Photoshop, so like, sometimes I use those brushes, but I like have to give myself a reason for it. Otherwise, uh, I think I would just overuse the hell out of it. It's a sometimes food. <laughs> Fun to play with not to eat. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got big stuff going on. It's just weird because, uh, I could have set up this stupid fucking website a long time ago, but I didn't because I'm dumb. I ran out of stuff to say. I just talked about my ass and I don't know. I'm boring. I don't always have a lot to say. Are you guys excited about Christmas? Quizmas! You excited? Hmm? Gonna party like it's 1995? It's Christmas soon. Shit scram. What's your favorite Christmas song? Mine is simply having wonderful Christmas time. I love that song. My sister hates that song. She fucking hates it. She's like, I don't want to hear the fucking Beatles. And I'm like, it's not the Beatles. It's Paul McCartney, first of all. Second of all. And I'm like, it's good. And she's like, it's repetitive and annoying. And I'm like, well, so is every Christmas song. Shut the fuck up. It's a good song. You hate Christmas? I feel like I'm supposed to hate Christmas 
given how many Christmases I've had in my lifetime that are sad. But nope, I love it. I have the gene where I love Christmas and I, I don't know. Not even religious, just love Christmas, love love giving gifts, love getting gifts, love love the candies, I love the cookies, I love the the lights. It's a good holiday. I want a cowgirl for Christmas. Jingle Bell Rock. Carol of Bell. Carol of Bells fucks. That one, like, hits. Like, especially the Trans Siberian Orchestra one. That one's good. I like that. I like the rock ones. They're nice. chugging spiked eggnog bro have you guys ever had eggnog and you're like surely this can't have alcohol in it right and then you just fuck yourself right up on it <laughs> the way you can't taste alcohol in it is so dangerous <laughs> it's the most dangerous drink i can't taste it i'm like hmm hmm it's like drinking a bunch of Baileys or something. I don't know. I I don't know. Is it Baileys in there? I don't I don't actually know what's in there. Whiskey? Question mark. I don't know what's typically put in it, but it's tasty. Double Trouble from Harry Potter is somehow a Christmas song? How is that a Christmas song? That doesn't even... I want double toiling trouble Cauldron and and bubble and bubble How, I, I guess so. Maybe it, it's got like operatic sounds to it a little bit. Well, I'm pagan, so uh, <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta do the witchy Christmas. You gotta do Yule. Yule is basically Christmas, though. Like, a lot of people really ha hate on the pagans, but the pagans be made. They made like all of the traditions, though. Like all of them. Although it's got a better aesthetic than Christmas, I'll give it that. It's got like that earthy Christmas. Some people freak out when you say pagan. They're like, what? Evil. It's like they don't even know what it is. <laughs> Christmas is the original plagiarism. It is. But it's fine. I like Christmas. It's fun. I'll draw a butt. Mm. Mm. Okay. Pagans, those heretics. Yeah. Damn you, pagans. This is this will be the last time I trust you with the Christmas ornaments. <laughs> How dare you put uh, orange slices all around, making it look festive and fun and smell good. Rude. The fun thing is when hardcore Christians celebrate Halloween. Yeah. That's when it gets a little confusing. Where you're like, what? That doesn't even make sense. 
Oh, and it's Salwin. Or Salhain. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. I've seen people say it two different ways, and I'm like, oh. I don't know. I thought about looking more into paganism, but it, it looks like a lot to read about, and I'm lazy. And I don't really care about religion. I'm not uh, spiritual in any kind of way. But it seems fun. I know a lot of witch people, so they tell me about it. <laughs> Why Reese all cheeked up? Because if I have to draw a butt, you know I'm gonna make it cheeked up. <laughs> My country, there's only pagan holidays that all Christians celebrate, but they also try to tell me it's a Christian holiday. Cracks me up every time. Yeah. I mean, that's how I feel about Christmas, for real. But... Christmas is just whatever you want to make it, you know? Same for every other holiday. <laughs> Okay, maybe him being cheeked up is distracting now that I'm looking at this. But also... I want to make him more cheeked <laughs> Okay, let's just like... Let's just, okay, let's just see how this looks when it's inked. Because he is kind of doing the McNuggies stance, so I am worried about that. Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you, Beaches. For your birthday wishes. Okay. Am I putting too much detail on the buns, huh? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps. Maybe just like a little less detail on the ass. Just a slightly. Details it more. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's a dramatic moment. It means you gotta show buns. That's how it works. <laughs> He is pretty caked up at this, though. It's like, what am I... <laughs> He's got a lot of assets in this one panel. Sometimes, listen, it's a mental illness to love drawing ass. It's like, how can you tell it's done by me? It's because, like, the ass shot will have the most detail. <laughs> I love butts. I don't know what my fucking mental illness is, bro. I don't know. It's been like this since I was a child. <laughs> Who likes titties when you can have butts? Fun for the whole family. Everybody likes butts. Some people really are titty guys and I don't get that. I'm like, what? Why? But they are. And I don't, listen, I don't want to sound, this is based on apropos of nothing, but I'm just going to say what I feel. I feel like when people are titty guys, they're more prone to being misogynistic. But if you're an ass man, you're a man of like the people, I don't know. 
that's based on fucking nothing but bullshit thoughts. But prove me wrong. <laughs> prove me wrong. Hmm? My meds are hitting good night. <laughs> Taking that Seroquel, dude. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Meds be hit and then you just pass out. Bonk. It's based off of nothing, but I agree. Exactly. Listen. We need to be more biased. And outrageous slander that is baseless. <laughs> Some people will take that shit seriously when I say that, though. <laughs> Listen. When you caked up and sad. <laughs> Happy birthday. Do your gifts get lumped into Christmas, too? Uh, some- they used to, sometimes, but, uh, we tried to, like, make it mine separate. I never got, like, birthday parties, um, because nobody was around for, you know, this close to Christmas, and I never really got, like, uh, you know, the standard wrapping paper that you're supposed to get. <laughs> Because I got Christmas wrapping paper growing up for my birthday. Um, yeah, so my birthdays have always been like a whatever kind of thing. So I kind of like get a little judgmental when people care about their birthday a little too much. I'm like, bro, why do you care? But also my hater ass is like, be humble. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to live without stuff. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> okay, file save. I don't think the butt is too distracting when you zoom out. It's just like when you zoom in, it's a lot. I feel like these panels need more black, but like I can't really ink that part yet because I have to finish the rest of the panel. Ugh, ellipses. I hate you. I hate you, ellipses. You're the worst. Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. <laughs> I don't know why that's in my head today. Over again. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Bitch. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. I love how you draw foliage and sad cake. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite memes is that guy in the shower where he's like, they're so mean to me. And it's just like his just gigantic caked up ass. It's the funniest. It is so good. I fucking love that meme so, so much. I don't know, when I'm doing these, like, issues uh, for the comic, like, they're monthly releases, and basically comics have an inside cover and an outside cover, and I put on the inside cover in the back, 
um, kind of just like an author's note, like what I was thinking about when I'm making the chapter or whatever, like editing it and stuff. Um, but then there's like a big blank spot and I'm like, what do I put here? I don't know. Cause there's not enough for me to like say. So I'm like, should I just like draw memes and put it there or what? Cause I'll fucking do it. You think I won't? I will. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'll do to make it like interesting. I just like, it's free real estate and I'm not wasting like, I'm not wasting like page space on stuff that could be funny or like useful or interesting because you paid money for it, you know? Like that's just bad book design if you don't use the space that people pay for, you know? I don't know. I was looking at like a lot of different like comic examples to see what they did. And a lot of them use it like for advertising space, but I don't want to fucking do that. That's late played out and lame and I want to do something cool with the page. So I don't know. You know, it's funny. My sister and I she wants me to go to a Satanist doo-wop concert. And I'm like, what the fuck? A Satanist doo-wop? And like, it's really close to like when my school starts. So I'm like, I don't know if I can go to the Satanist doo-wop and go to school on time. <laughs> Also, I have no clue what you're supposed to fucking wear to a Satanist doo-wop concert. What am I supposed to wear? <laughs> From my understanding, it's just like very like kitschy and like fun. So I guess I'll just wear my solid black t-shirt and call it a day. <laughs> Is that the name of the band? I don't know. I don't remember what the name of the band is. But that's the style of music they sing. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. It's basically like Betty Boop music, but about Satanism. <laughs> so, you know, it's fun. And like, her husband is religious. And she still wants to go. She's like, I don't give a shit. I want to go. And then he was just like, take Holly. I'm not going to that. Because <laughs> he's scared of like you know, devil stuff. <laughs> but I can't even judge because I'm scared of solid black humanoid entities, so I get it. But, like, I'm scared of more, like, the, like, crawling on the ce ceiling kind of demon stuff. And I think he's just scared of, like, the occult, which is different. But I think it'll be a fun crowd of people in there. It's just annoying because I have to drive five hours to go, which is annoying. Because it's in North Texas. Ugh. Five hours. <laughs> Okay. 
looking better. I'm making like Reese's shrine here for the comic and I'm like, it's kind of a pain in the ass to draw all these plants, but like I have to for story reasons. So it's annoying. Five hours, bruh. Yeah. Texas is big. <laughs> yeah, Twin Temple. That's what it is. <clears throat> My sister says it's good, so I trust her. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Ellipses, fuck you. Eat my chode ellipses. I base these candles off of the Michelangelo candle I have. I also have a, uh, oh, what is it? A Mother Mary candle. Because uh, I go to the HEB near my house and you can get prayer candles. They're next to the cleaning supplies. Um,. <laughs> And they're like, I'm not religious, but I gotta say, they have a whole vibe to them that looks great, so I buy them. And they're like a dollar, so why not? <laughs> Every Texan I know going on like a seven plus hour road trip like it's nothing. Well, yeah, I mean, just to go to like one city away, it's like at least like an hour and a half minimum. And that's like a close city. So if I want to go to like from South Texas to North Texas, it's a, it's a drive. It's just frustrating. Cause like technically Louisiana is fucking closer. So it's like, I could be in an entirely different state, but I'm still within my own fucking state. How stupid is that? That's why, like, I don't understand, like, those states that are, like, really small. Like, Rhode Island. I'm like, what the fuck? How do these, like, little states function? I don't understand. Back in Texas, it's big as hell. We, I don't know nothing about that city life living in big Texas. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. <laughs> no, did you die? Oh, fucking goddamn it. My mouse died. Hold on. Ugh. Wiener. Gotta plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Okay. Did you guys did you guys know those little homies are like vintage items now? Those fucking 25 cent little homies that you get at like the laundromat. Those motherfuckers are vintage. 
because I was like, oh, I want a homie. I haven't had one, like, since I was a kid. I look it up. 1990s homie. $23 for a fucking homie? Are you kidding me? What is that? It's bullshit, bro. Homies? <laughs> Homies were like... I don't know if this is like a regional specific thing or what this is, but basically homies were like, you could get them in like tiny little, uh, like those little machines for kids, those little 25 cent machines. And it's like a little toy and it's cheap, shitty China plastic of a gang member. And I'm not even joking, they were, like, literally gang members. <laughs> um, and, uh, they were called homies. And you could get them in, like, various different, uh, like, styles or whatever. But I remember, like, I think they stopped selling them for a while because it's like, it promotes gang culture and makes it cool. And I'm like, yeah, but it looks cool, so d I want my little homie. I can't fucking find the homies anymore because they're freaking expensive now, which makes me mad. I'm like, this is bullshit. A homie should never cost more than 25 cents. This is absolutely bullshit. <laughs> we ain't got that shit out here in the Midwest. Texas exclusive? I guess so. I won't lie, some of them looked hella racist based off of, like, how they drew people. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Just look up homies, collectibles or whatever. But I want a homie real bad. But not for these prices, damn. I felt like other places had homies, though. Surely they must have, right? I don't know. But I loved those. They were right next to the sticky hands. It was like a core memory for me to get a homie. But in retrospect, it sounds hella fucking strange when you say that shit out loud, so. <laughs> I gotta buy me a homie. <laughs> but I swear to God, I remember them being called, like, Lil Homies. Like, L-I-L Homies. But no, they're just called Homies. So, it's kind of weird. IDK what homies are because I'm not a native Texan. I grew up in Oklahoma in the 2000s and my family never moved here until 2010. Well, I think it's also like a poverty exclusive because you could only find those in like shitty little vending machine things. Like, like you could only get them in like those machines that are next to like the shitty tattoos and 25 year old bumble bubble gum and like i don't know a sticky hand so like that's and, and like maybe you'll get like a magic card dispenser you know one of those you know what i'm talking about <laughs> the quarter machines yeah like when you're going to the laundromat or something or like if you're like near an arcade or something they have like those little quarter machines for like toys 
This is a very 1990s phrase. I don't think they have these anymore, but when I was a kid, they did. And they had homies. I don't, I don't even think I've seen these in like a long time. I don't know if they still make this shit anymore. Like weird China plastic bullshit for kids. Because I haven't gone to a laundromat in a while. The aliens. Oh, I loved those. Those little gray guys. Those were cool. Yeah, I remember they had like off-brand like um Pokemon figures when I was a kid and one of them and I was really pissed because my mom never let me get that one because it was like an expensive like little machine so I could only get homies and sticky hands rude <laughs> uh. I'm actually kind of surprised my mom let me get homies I don't know my mom was very like growing up kind of strict so the fact that she let me get those is surprising she like softened with age she no longer is like um caring about that stuff anymore but when i was little it was a strict like no guns household no gang mem memorabilia nothing uh no no black no skulls stuff like that I remember uh, my sister got in trouble for wearing hooped earrings as a kid because those were slut earrings at the time. <laughs> it's weird seeing like these hoochie mama kids now where I'm like, oh my god, my mom would have beat the shit out of us if we wore that. <laughs> but like, I guess parents now don't have that like 1990s fear of God. <laughs> so they can wear whatever they want. Must be nice. Rude. It took forever till I was allowed to be wear, wear black. Forever. Hoochie mama. <laughs> uh, I could phrase that a little better, but you know what I mean. Like, really big hoops. Like, basically like hoops that are like bigger than an inch. Which I don't really think they're that bad, but that was the one thing as a kid. I was like, Mom, this is dumb. You can't be yelling at Angie for that. That's stupid. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> this ain't even for the hose, Mom. I promise. <laughs> That's how you know you're old, bro. When you look at the kids and you're like, this is what's cool now? Huh. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Mom, I promise she's not one for the streets. <laughs> I think it's because GTA came out around this time. And my mom was painfully aware of the uh, media depictions of women from that game because my brother got the game without her permission and she was pissed. <laughs> She's like, you mow down strippers? Uh-uh, not in my household. And she was pissed. 
<laughs> it's funny. I was bullied in middle school by those hot chip girls who had the slut earrings. <laughs> Listen, they slayed, okay? I don't know. I was bullied by everybody, so I, I don't really associate, like, bullying with one look. I associate it with attitude. People who are more socially inclined than I am. Now I'm, like, immune to it. You can't really bully me because I've been through NOM. I'm like, what can you make fun of that I don't already, like, hate myself for? Nothing. Okay. do 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 Looking spiffy there. We're getting there with the page. File save. I don't want to do the birds. Ugh. I don't want to. I was bullied by like mean girls and, um, boys this racist kid this kid named Jamal um every girl on the soccer team this girl named Amadis <laughs> basically just like random every goer pass buyers I don't know I was weird <laughs> So, I don't know. You kind of just like can't let it get to you. It's kind of whatever. You like my boards? Thank you. I like birds. They're a metaphor for losing all hope. <laughs> I've never thought of hoop earrings as slut earrings, lol. I think it might have just been like a weird 90s thing, bro. I don't know. I don't see that like as a thing anymore. But I definitely remember it being a thing. Like certain styles of clothing were like considered like slut clothes even though they weren't really. I was looking at the birds and didn't even notice the metaphor. You'll you'll notice the metaphor if you read it later, but it will spell it out for you, don't you worry. <laughs> I'm debating on how I want to ink this like I don't like how I'm inking it right now. Doesn't look right. You got to like get the beak just right for birds, otherwise they look all fucked up. So it's like stressful. It's looking too hummingbird like. Maybe I'll do like a like that. Like show more neck distinction. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to like look at a reference for this bird. 
when I sketch these out, I sketch them real small and they look good in like the little sketch and then like when you make them big, they sometimes look like poo poo. <laughs> so I'll have to like look at like an actual bird for that because that just doesn't look like, it just doesn't look right. <sighs> Ugh. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go because, uh, I'm tired already, <laughs> but thanks for showing up to my live stream where I talked about literally nothing. Um, I hope it was fun. Remember kids, be careful with like how much nair you put on your ass. Um, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.